Yeah, yeah, welcome okay. back, everybody, to Goblets and Warlots. Uh, we're back with episode 17 of Order the Goblet on our new night uh, on Sundays, uh, roughly around like 5 p.m., give or take uh, 30 minutes or so, depending on that. It's the only time we could get stuff to work because people's schedules changing, including mine. Uh, we'll be having tonight's episode, but then we'll, I think we'll have two weeks off for people's other conflicting schedules so as we still get settled in. Um, Dragonlance and the Black Order will not come back until sometime in August because I got a one of the player in both of those games still at a summer job and I'm still working at my schedule, like I said. So I don't even know what my permanent schedule is. This might have to go to bi weekly. I don't know yet. So I'll we'll find out this week. Uh, if you've been tuning in for my Boulders Gate 3 streams and painting, I just actually. I just actually pre-ordered the new and latest and greatest 3D printer, so I'll be getting some more better prints out for that. Um, but yeah, we're back with this campaign. Let's take a. Uh, I guess I guess I should say Gene uh, uh, Doggo, the one that plays Gene. His internet is out, so hopefully, if he gets internet back, he'll join in. If not, we'll just continue on and uh, press on for today. He'll be recovering from his drinking in the previous episode for like five months ago or however long it was. So, but anyway, I'll turn it around the room. Uh, two of the players are here. So players, you can reintroduce yourselves and tell us what character you're playing. And if you stream or any other platforms, we'll start out with Garner. I Garner, I play Glitch. A half elf. Or to sapphire, or whatever. One of those things. <laughs> Artificer. <Yep>. Artificer. <laughs> whatever. Whoever calls it. Whoever you ask, I guess. Yeah. Uh, turn it over to my lovely co M co DM for our charity event in October. More on that later. Floor. You're, You're muted. muted. Back to the normal, <laughs> back to the normal streaming stuff. <laughs> hey, I'm Assault. Um, I play a regular human, uh, holy warrior. That that that's me. Just a regular human. All right, and uh, Jr. There we go. <laughs> JR's mouth is full of chicken. Um, I I am JR the Nerd on Twitch, uh, Nerd Empire on Instagram. Um, I play Isam, who just like Providence is a completely normal human, extra normal. Um, but I'm a little bit more on the unholy side. A uh, little bit like witchy vibes. A little bit of edgelord mixed in there uh so that is isam uh i stream over at jr the nerd on twitch on tuesday nights we have made in mayhem eventually one day like 900 months from now i'll get my shit together and uh like i made overlays i made overlays uh do tomb of annihilation at some point that's happening and i'm also interviewing a friend of mine in the coming month for a book of his that I have read. I just need, I need to schedule our author interview. So we do stuff like author interviews. Sometimes I stream Skyrim. Come check me out. All right. Uh, Rotender. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, I am Rotender. I play Kalis, an actual human holy warrior. <laughs> um, oh, and I'm blind. <laughs> the character, uh, we... not not me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Weasel. Hey, I'm Weasel, or the one true vessel in chat. Um, I play Nico, the uh, the wonderful member of the perfect postal providers for people's precious parcels and packages. Um, <clears throat> I'm new to the group, cause cause. Uh, someone left the group unexpectedly, so it was also my character. And uh, Silver Wolf. I'm Silver Wolf underscore Silver underscore Wolf underscore Eight. Oh my gosh, I need to really fix that. I stream every Friday. I'm playing Arwenus, the High Elf that everyone 
likes to tease for her age. I um, starting to we stream more days. Who didn't remind yeah. Us, but it was yeah. No. No. That's never gonna be forgotten. Ever. Ever. What are you talking about? Um. Gonna actually start streaming tomorrow morning around I think uh, eight thirty. So can do some crocheting. So something different. So. Yeah, and then uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I changed up the rewards for my stream. So what you see, I went with uh, what um, Dork Tales does. Uh, it's called Determination. I asked him. He said he's good. He's cool with it, so it's fine. So don't go and say, hey, I stole from him. Though. But I asked him, he said, go ahead and take it because he took it for somebody else. But uh, Determination uh, is a redeemable reward in chat for our viewers. Uh, what that means is you can only have one at a time. So I gave all the players one or initially. So when they use it, you, it's on you guys, the viewers, to choose to give it back to them. And make sure and you have to put in chat what it is. And basically, determination is the player can choose to use their proficiency on top of whatever role they're trying to do. Attacking, saving, uh, skill checks, it doesn't really matter. So you, they can use their determination. So their proficiency bonus is, what, three maybe? You can add another three to the role on top of if you are using proficiency. It's just a little extra bonus. The subscribing still gives advantage. Gifting a sub still gives out uh, greater potions of healing. And then uh, re-rolls are still 500 bits. And uh, what's the last one? Uh, magic items are still an irredeemable thing. So and that's what that is for those. So the gifting, those increments are still there. So <clears throat> as you can see, True Blessed has just gifted a sub to Red Trails. What's up, Red Trails? Welcome in. It's been a while. Glad to see you here. Welcome back in. Uh, so True Wessel gifted a gifted sub to uh, Rad Trails. And so y'all get a greater portion of healing. At, I forgot who has the bag of holding. Who has it? Now? I do. You do. Okay. So it'll pop out and be waiting for you at the table when you wake up. That being said, updated intro. Got some new music. Uh, so hope you enjoy. Sit back, grab your goblet, sit back and relax and enjoy the show. In a world of magic and mystery, where dragons soar and elves roam free, there lies a secret society known as the Order of the Dawn that you see. From the shadows we emerge, urge, protecting the realm with a search. Our mission, a duty, a pledge to keep the balance to save the We fight for what's right. Raise your swords and raise the shield. or Nico, would you like to lead us to the night tree cap as Nico? Yeah, I remember stuff. Uh, oh boy, it's been a while. One second. Um, uh, so this morning, I woke up and the grass I was sleeping on was nice and soft. There was a bit of dew on the ground and on me, but it was just crisp enough to wake me up properly. And I woke up in time to see the sunrise. It was a beautiful morning. Uh, started walking down the road. Came across a group of travelers who were 
just getting ready to head off. Um, there was a, a bird man, a floating sleeping man table, um, a knight, a half elf, a tall blonde lady, and a pretty elf. Um, I mean, it must be my lucky day because they agreed to let me join them. So I sat up front with the she elf, whose name is Arwenis, and we all enjoyed some conversation during the trip. And it had been far too long since I'd been able to travel with a group. So that was fun. Um, apparently, they have a friend who's recently been sucked into a deck of cards. Uh, they asked if I knew anything about that kind of magic item. Uh, unfortunately, I do not. Uh, that said, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on something like that because it sounds fascinating. Um, a little while later, we met up with another member of their group. Uh, there's a man named Isam. Uh, I guess their holy man is also their scout. Uh, maybe he's just like really has the favor of the gods. I don't know. Um, I also think that Sir Frederick might be their patron and a really generous one because he just seems to pay for everything. So either Folgia is blessing me with all of this hospitality or the fox is, is giving me some good luck today. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. Um, yeah, uh, we got to the tavern in time for supper. Uh, Colif Hightower took our orders. Sir Frederick proved his benevolence again by paying again. Uh, apparently, he represents the Order of the Goblet, and they own all of the Majestics, which I guess they're, like, super rich, because that's a nicer inn than I ever stay in. Um, they also have someone who works for them who's the, the Itchy Mayor, the Mayor of Itchy. I don't know. Um, I guess he's allergies or something. Uh, but... Sir Frederick seems fairly confident that this group will join his order, but Arwen has said that not everyone's fully on board yet. I'm new. I don't know what's really going on in their heads yet. Um, Sir Frederick went to bed early, I guess, because he's old. He gets tired quickly. Um, and then Providence, the tall blonde one, she also went to just kind of take some time. But I think for her, it was a completely different reason than just being tired. Um, the rest of us stayed up drinking and chatting. Uh, it, was, it was nice. It's been a while. It's, it was really nice. Um, apparently some magical force made a bunch of them unable to die, although they haven't fully explained the details yet. It's an item. That'd be another fascinating piece to get my hands on. I may need to tag along with this group for a while because they seem to get into close proximity with some cool magic stuff. That would be be interesting to look at uh to poke around with but uh yeah and then and then yeah we 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 danced a bit and then arwenis said that it was people were getting too drunk so then we brought the birdman uh john and the half elf glitch up to bed got them nice and cuddly together um and then, and then, uh, went to bed and that was pretty much the night. So, yeah. All right. Uh, that was pretty much the night for Nico, but, uh, the cliffhanger I left everybody on for like five months was that, uh, Fane showed up to Arnus's and Providence's door, banged on the door. They got up and answered the door and said, and now we're shot to think to see Fane, but that's where I left it on. Nothing was really revealed there. But tonight, let me change the music details. Now we're in the game. Kalis and a song. Actually, let's do it this way. Kalis, after your vision. You've kneeled down and prayed to figure out what happened to Fane. You shoot up. <sighs> and as Assam was laying there rest, like sleeping in the 
bed next to you, uh, you wake up in this. Actually, you remember praying in the middle of a field. Now you wake up in the middle of the night in a tavern, in a bed. Uh, separated between you and the bed is a table and a chair. And on the other side of the bed is a psalm waking up to you gasping in the middle of the night. At the foot of your bed are some foot lockers where all your stuff has been stowed. And you look down. You see like dirt on your clothes. You're not in your PJs. You're in your actual clothes that you're in. But you see like dirt on your chest and too. Uh, it almost kind of looks like a footprint or some sort. Just kind of on your chest. But that's what you wake up to. Where are we? Are you... Are you okay, kids? Um, I mean, I had... I had a split hell of a vision, but like... Weren't we outside? At, at one point? Yes, yes. Uh, you've been... Do your visions usually... Is that normal? I, I have visions. Yes, that, that is normal. Uh, I Where should, is... Okay, this I should also add it that your vision feels like it only took like five, ten minutes tops. Okay. Uh, obviously, it's the middle of the night. You did it in the morning. And Isam, you would know that he's been in this, he was in that state all day. You've Continue. been floating for a day. What, what well, did you where's see? Prov where's Providence? I, uh, where's Providence? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I, I get up and I kind of like rush at whatever is on my chest. Like, why I... is there... As you start brushing, you can tell some of it's mud and it's kind of soaked in. How I, I wasn't, big is I wasn't, this footprint? I wasn't there for that part. Yeah, I don't know why there's muddy footprints on you. <laughs> um, I'm going to at least grab my hammer and shield. I'm not going to take time to put on my armor. Uh, but I am going to leave the room and look for everybody else. It's like fuck you, Isam. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I need to talk to Providence. All right. So All right. I bust out into the hallway. You bust out in the hallway. Uh, Isam, you following him? Uh, no. <laughs> he's gonna like <laughs> if he wants to tell him he wants something. Clearly, he doesn't. So he's just gonna like let him do his thing. But you're not gonna follow him out in the hallway. You're just gonna stay in the room by yourself. Yeah. Okay. You bust out in the hallway. Um, you bust out. You realize your room is the last one on the hall. Because you turn right and there's just a solid wall. And you see three more rooms to your left. Uh, obviously, I you will. Don't know, obviously, you don't know who's in what room. Yeah. Um, I'll just the door right next to mine knock alright you kind of with the back of my hammer it's it's forceful but it's not like police open up it's like just hello uh, glitch you're knocking on your door and you have mm -hmm. no stirring of John. John doesn't move, but you hear knocking on your door. You wake up like I think shirtless. Yeah, yeah. He rolls over, grabs on, hugs his pillow. What is is Providence in there? Kind of vaguely opens his eye. No. Okay, Sleep. Well, we need a team meeting and pretty soon. And then I'll just go to the next door. <laughs> He's out. <All> right. <laughs> glitch for all that <laughs> <that's> sleep. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, Not a drinking. 
Banging again. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> uh, Nico, give me a perception check. With disadvantage, because you are probably passed out from drinking. Perception is a... Ooh! Uh, that is a 26 with disadvantage. 26? Yeah, I rolled a 17 and an 18. Holy What's shit! What's your modifier? <laughs> Jesus. Plus stuff. <laughs> Plus 900 to reception. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, as... I have Kate a character is... who's actually good at a couple things now, but just a couple things. As Kayla starts banging on Providence Arnus's door, you hear the banging too, Nico. And with your percept... With that high perception check, at first you think they're knocking on your door, but you realize it's the one next to you. <clears throat> Um, if I know it's where Arwenus and Providence are, I'll probably you do because you you because you walked Arwenus back to her room. Yes, so I'll I'll get up and and just step into the hallway and and watch what's going on in front of their door. Okay. Uh, Ar uh Providence and Arwenus and uh, Verana uh, will hear the knocking on the door. <sighs> Who's that? Providence. I am not, as Providence is not paying attention to the door. Um, there is a Fane in front of her. Providence, it's important. It's about Fane. Uh, can I, can I roll an insight roll? Uh, I just want to see if she knows anything about, about who, who is standing in front of her. An insight roll? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll an insight roll. That is a 16 on the dice plus 5, 21. Can I tell if this is or is not Fane? You, Aerie, Scar, or actually, no, y'all are true resurrected, so you don't have any scars anymore, but everything from head to toe looks exactly like Fane, even the eyes. But the voice. But Fane did talk to me and said that she wasn't here, and my god said that yeah. she is not reachable. And, uh, but, uh, her voice does not sound like Fane. I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, Providence is going to drop her, is going to start her rating consumption. Wait, 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 wait. And she's going to lunge forward, voice. and she's going <laughs> to lunge forward and try to grab whatever this is by the throat. Perfect. Do I recognize the voice? You recognize the voice, Arnus. Rana? Yes. Providence, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. She, she. I'm so sorry. She is. No, no, she no, no, is... no, no, no. Uh, Kalis, give me a perception check with advantage because you have your keen senses. So I think that means um, uh, Verana and our <laughs> winners have to take three radiant damage. Thirteen. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> hear. All of a sudden, as you're asking for a providence, you hear a scuffle. As you hear, <coughs> right as providence gets that, and Verona. I'm, check I'm checking the door to see if it's locked. No, because she just it. ran in and shut it, so yeah. I don't think it was locked. I think Kalis is inside the radius, too. <laughs> He's outside a door, so I don't know how that works. As far as your ra radiant consumption go, go? goes, ten, it ten goes feet. 10 feet. It'll go into the hallway. Yep. Oh, yeah, I would get... Yep. Immediately consumed? Yeah. Consumed? It's two points. Three points now. <sighs> Is it visible? Like, can I see a light all of a sudden coming out of this room? Probably. <laughs> yeah. I uh, open the door, and now yep. I can kind of sense what's in here. Like, hey, oh, let's... you can't see anything. <laughs> Kalis, no. did you shut the door to your room when you left? No. The some you hear a scuffle too. Um, I'll, <clears throat> I'll move forward enough to see into the room, but not be in the potentially dangerous light that just appeared. 
Okay. Sam is going to sigh like... We'll address this person like... behind me in just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Big table, man. Man table. I and he's going to peek out the door like, being like, what are these idiots doing now? <sighs> um, yeah. I don't actually have my arrow drawn. That's just the miniature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Providence, that's not Fane, but I do know where she is. And who is this? And it's she's Verona. gonna be it's Verona. She's it's pushing Verona. she's pushing Fane up against the wall. Providence, this is Verona. Oh, this is who connected Fane and I connected. Stop let go of her throat. Where she is has... Fane? Where is she? They switched. <coughs> yep. Basically. They switched. That is Fane's body. Please don't hurt it. She'll drop her. Is there somewhere we can <laughs> sit and have a group chat? It is the middle of the night. This I'm seems rested. pretty important. Yeah, I know, but just, just like, you know, most of everyone drank that you missed. You, you good, Verona? If you hurt Fane, it wasn't her. It wasn't her. She didn't do this. Is everyone still burning? I, yeah. I it specifically said I was saying just outside of it. Yeah, so... Yeah, uh, you probably need to take another three points or damage. Oh. I'll take whatever damage I gotta take. Yeah. Providence, can you drop that, please? Uh, she, Providence will drop it. She'll drop the three day just, God, she's, I don't know you on straight. <laughs> So, sorry, how much damage did Verona just take? Six. Six? 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 Okay. Why did everybody else? Ooh, That's cool. in the room. Isam, are you still staying down there? Yeah, he's just kind of standing from the hallway, kind of like... <coughs> I mean, he hasn't been invited to this party, so he's kind of like... He's kind of watching and listening. <laughs> like, leaning on the... Leaning against the... Leaning against the wall. Which wall, though? <laughs> By your room, or did you move closer? Uh, maybe I was gonna point as if you could see where I was pointing to. But... <laughs> as always, as always. <laughs> um, maybe like five feet forward, uh, kind of like leaning against the wall to Glitch's room, like kind of like standing there, kind of like with one ear cocked, kind of just watching what's going on without trying <clears throat> not to be intrusive, but also there figured... in case he's needed. <clears throat> I figure you would have felt Providence's uh, consumption go up. Yeah. Even from that far away. He's very proud of you for being better at dropping it now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably Jugan should probably tell me if I managed to drop it or not. Yeah, I assume nice. we're in an inn. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are in an inn. Okay. And you're not a table anymore. Again, we'll address this person behind me in a second. <laughs> oh, right. Kayla, what, what's going on? That. I had a vision. Are y'all all moving into the room now? Uh, No, I would like... Can we just go downstairs where it's open? Yeah. And get everybody together. Yeah. Esom and everybody. Alright, uh, yep. Wait. Which which room was uh Fred Sir Frederick in? He he took a different room. He gave us these four. I don't oh, know. Oh no! Yeah, these four. What? Where's Glitch? Uh, I assume in the room right next to you. Oh, that's right. Is he still asleep? I assume so. Uh, Providence will cast thaumaturgy and she'll just start banging on the wall and just like, Glitch, get up, get up. I'll just open their door. And their door wouldn't be locked because we put them in there and then yeah. left. Also, yeah. oh, if it's not locked, uh, also, also is open. just kind of like Isam is just kind of like holding his head, like I'll go drag. So embarrassing. <laughs> uh, Nico, give me a charisma saving throw, please. Charisma? I'm so good at these guys. Uh, 
Wasn't that like the only thing Thane was good at? Yes. Thane was a warlock. Nico is not. Really? That is a two for a total of zero. Oh my god. Uh, yep. All right. Uh, are y'all still standing where you were standing at? Yes. Yeah. I've moved oh, I. to the glitches door. Okay. Uh, you don't see this because you're blind, obviously, but Assam, you see in front of you Nico standing there. All of a sudden, this black, red, green, bluish color warp around her. She vanishes in front of you. Oh, another character? <laughs> uh, can I do like a religion or an arcana check a... or like any kind do... of check you that can. would give me hints? Yeah. But I'm going to need everybody to roll initiative. Are you kidding me? Fight. <laughs> me too. Or. Awesome. Okay, so I didn't. Yeah, you go around this too, Nico. Yo, uh, so I haven't been here for a couple of sessions. Uh, Isam has a ability that allows one person to have advantage on initiative. Um, could I have given that to somebody, Jugen? In uh, their initiative, sure. Yeah, who mine wants still, it? Mine seems to be still be rolling. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> mine too. I got a twenty-one. I'm all right. I win this. Do you do you want advantage on it, or should I just take it for myself? Uh, take it for yourself. I got a fourteen, so I'm in the middle where I need to be. All right. Oh shoot! Ignore that. I took I took that off, and then it put it back on. You have a plus twelve? Yes, I do. Jesus! Uh, what? There we go. Sorry. <laughs> that, that's that's without. I you, don't know you, what you want to take. Oh, it's not a 30, but a 29 now? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why ours is not uh, showing up. You want me to redo it? In West, Western Canada, probably. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, press well, it again. I got Arnus's, I got Nico's, I got Sam's, I don't have Promises, and I don't have Kalis's, and I don't have Glitches. My, ours are not... 21. Mine's in Looking there, the... it's a 21. Yeah, look in the refresh. in the above VTT chat. It's not coming through. It just says dot dot dots. Oh, yours is five yeah. now. Oops. I, I refreshed my I got, page. I got Providence. I don't have glitches though. Hmm. Uh, something. Called. Yeah, glitch looks I, like you have to re-roll. I think yeah. I needed that advantage. <laughs> well, too late. Because <laughs> he both I asked. <laughs> what did oh, I get? Four. Okay. <laughs> I because I'm not seeing my rolls okay. either. Hold on. Uh, uh, Isam, I got Isam as an eight. Eight, sorry, eight. You rolled two fours, and I think you have a plus four. So yeah. Okay. I have a plus three. Uh, just missing glitches. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, glitch. Uh, go to go to the above VTT page. I think it's because we have a. Uh, do you have your? Yeah. Eighteen. There you go. <laughs> Because I have what now? If you have two tabs open, one with your character sheet and one with above VTT, it's not going to connect properly. I closed the VTT. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, yeah. ready. All right. do this. I kind of already had my turn, so this works out. I swear, if I have to make a third character, I'm using that cursed stat block and having two fives for my stats. I guess I had rolled the bad guy's initiative pre, but then it didn't add it. What the fuck? All right, so it's four. 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 <laughs> and then there. you have no now energy. we're talking. Wow, rolled a nat one for Verona, so she's gonna be surprised. Yeah, her initiative. Figures, she's just not used to being in that amazing body yet. <laughs> All right. 
Nico. You grew yeah. the highest, but you failed your saving throw. Mm -hmm. You all of a sudden just feel yourself like you're looking at the hallway as you evaporate. You f reappear in a freestanding stars, blackness, stars, like almost kind of like you're in space. Can so I breathe? You can breathe just fine. Okay. But you're just kind of floating there like, what the fuck? Okay. Um. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna. What am I gonna do? This is before we had a long rest. Like this is middle of the night. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Nobody has taken a long rest, so at least you shouldn't have anyway. Yep. Okay. Um. I'm going to. I'm gonna just take, like, grab my bow and prepare, like, knock an arrow and just be ready to shoot any creature or being that looks like a threat that I might see. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I have a cool Felix. ability that I can use on my first turn in combat, but I'm in space, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <That's> the safe. <laughs> I Felix, rolled a two. You're up. <laughs> I don't know anything's going on. <laughs> so I am still knocking on Glitch's door, trying to get him to wake right, up you... until somebody yells and tells me that you something is your... happening. You can use your action. Uh... Uh, Kalis, Kalis, um, what? Nico vanished. I don't know who Nico is. <laughs> Nico. Is this true? <laughs> <laughs> there was a postal service worker, um, who was standing in the hallway just now, and she just vanished in black. Right, shadow. That's your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then I guess what? So you're using your action to knock open the door or not? Yeah. All right. No, I'm going to open the door because I know it's unlocked. Is it? Yeah, we didn't lock it. When we dumped no, them no, in, this is closed. Glitch's room. Oh, you. Yeah, oh, we, yeah, we yeah. dumped them in. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> you, you bust in. You see Glitch like. Well, actually, I just so... I just yell, guys, get up now! And then I go back out into the hallway, and I know that uh, Esam is behind me. Um, I also am not wearing my armor, so I made sure to take it off. But I do just kind of like get ready i just like put a put my shield up and like hold my hammer out and that will be my turn i think i can pick up john here that as well Where is um we now have glitch you hear him bust in get roll Slowly sit up. <laughs> Very tired. And that's about as far as he gets. His feet are off the bed and he's sitting up, hunched over. As any tired, drunk person would do. And that's as far as he gets. Because, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what's going on. Go out the door and see what Kalis is yelling about. There's no equipment. Alright, as you step out mm -hmm. of the door, you look down at the end of the where the top of the stairs is, this individual 
purple cloak with the mace to the side, holding in his hand up. All, all you hear is the tome. Oh, heck no. Since I already have my crossbow out pointing at Verona, I'm going to shoot him. This is... Why is it do that again? You're going to pull out what? I, well, I already pulled out my crossbow from last time because I was pointing at Verona because we, we didn't yeah. know who was opening the door, so I still have that in my hand. So I'm going to shoot that at the dude. Oh, come on, give me the full sh- Oh, I'm over this. Sorry, my thing decided to glitch out at the last second. Glitch is right there. No, mm -hmm. wrong glitch. Glitch is out. Peace. Going back to bed. Yeah. Okay. Nap time. Does a 19 <clears throat> hit? A 19? Does a 19 hit? Yes. Okay. Not bad <clears throat> damage. Six. Six? Six. Uh, it's just straight piercing damage? Just straight piercing damage, yes. That's not gonna happen. That's your action? You got a bonus session? Sections. Actually, the only thing I can do, I can send uh, Selman Nova. Yeah, I'll summon Nova. All the pseudo dragon? Yes. Forgive me, I didn't pull that one out, so use your imagination. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't play this game to use my imagination. Wait, it might be in here. Let me check. It might be in this. It might be saved. All right. Oh wait, nope. It's an action. Never mind. Hold on. I, I can't do it now. Turn. Nope. I have to do it next turn. All right. Well, I'll okay. work on getting it. I think it's. In also, that guy should probably roll a concentration check. I did. Oh. Can oh. I? Can I make? Can I make a request for Iwanis? Mm-hmm. Whenever you do your like druid shape shifting thing, could you shout out like the Wonder Twins say "Shape of" <laughs> <laughs> an ice <No>. bicycle? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard no. But why not? That would be uh, awesome. Yeah. Shape of kitty cat. <laughs> How about like go go gadget? I don't know where. I don't know where That'd that be my thing. Miniature. Yeah, that's totally glitch. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'll do that. Go go gadget. Exploding hands. <laughs> no worries right now then. All right. That's the end of my half, turn. Uh, I'm half naked, so I got. A psalm. I'm number eight. Am I seriously next already? Uh huh. <laughs> Am I getting hit by the something? The bad guys <laughs> rolled terribly. <laughs> Bad guys, like plural. Um, did I get like a perception or a religion check or something yeah, that you, I could did you roll have it? used? No. Oh, what, what am I rolling? Am I rolling perception, religion? Uh, I'll let you roll percep. Actually, are you proficient in Arcana? No, I'm proficient in perception and religion, though. But since you are a cleric. I'll allow you to do Arcana, and you do have determination if you'd like to use it. Mm. Okay. So that makes it a plus three? You, you add I'll your just, proficiency to any roll you roll. Yeah, I'll just roll the religion check because that will come up to the zero to a plus three automatically. 
I hear it, but I do not see it. I don't see you on I don't know TV. why. Oh my god. <laughs> Natural 20! <20. laughs> so I got 23. <laughs> so you've seen this type of spell before. And you very distinctly recall a spell called Dimin uh sorry. Uh Banishment. Mm. Uh so Nico's been banished, but this thing is taking her place, kind of, right? No. He came up to the top of the stairs. As he's walking up the stairs, he did it on the first. Oh, he just banished. Oh, okay. Uh, if if I wanted to, okay, there's a command spell. If I wanted to, say, use the command spell to make me, him make Nico come so back, could I? Could I say? Drop the concentration is what you're trying to say. Yeah, um, it says it has to be one word, so I have to say something like really, but I don't know. I don't know if I can pull that off or not. Would you let me use it to? Yeah, what's the safe? It says. Uh, you speak a one word command to a creature you see within range. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on its next turn. The spells no effect if the target is undead, if it doesn't understand your language, or if your command is directly harmful to it. Some typical it's commands are safe. approach an 18. Well, I hadn't, you hadn't told me whether I could even use it for what I wanted. To. Oh, I was allowed you to use save. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So he will cast command and 18 does save. Okay. He is needed a 16 or higher. So he's going to say, release. And then uh, nothing happens. Like, okay, maybe don't release. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, is your, that's your action, your bonus action? Oh, yeah, there are bonus actions in this game. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, you forgot <how> to play? <laughs> For my bonus action, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna radiant yet. Uh, I think what I am going to do is um, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna not use a bonus action. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call that a call that his turn. Alrighty. Providence. Uh, can I see what's happening? Can I at least see Arwenus uh, drawing a bow, like a bow and shooting? Oh yeah, she's right in front of the door. Okay, yeah. Then I'm gonna. So I assume I think I think Providence is like a, a, a honed enough warrior that she knows that her colleague would be like only attacking something. So she's just gonna sprint out. Um, can I make it to the guy? What's your moment? Thirty. Yep. Ten feet from him. Ten feet from him. Yeah. Uh, she is going to. She's gonna cast a spell. She's gonna pull out her sword and point it at him, uh, and she's gonna and she's gonna cast. Uh, I call it glowing sword blast, uh, which is just guiding bolt. Um, Got let's see. Where is that? Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Uh, and as you're doing that. I also want you to make. What's your passive perception? Fifteen. Fifteen. Right. Uh, you uh, did see... that roll? Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let me refresh. There we go. I see it coming in now. That's a sixteen. Sixteen hits. Oh, nice. And, and your passive perception. You see four more enclosed figures behind him coming up the stairs. Okay. Uh, damage on that is going to be 11 radiant damage. Uh, and I'm going to be writing, I'm going to be yelling back, Kalis, uh, five guys coming up the stairs right behind, right in front of me. Hmm. Was there enough? No. Ignore that. Oh. I just accidentally hit something. Ignore that. Unless you want to use that damage, that was better. <laughs> Is that your turn? Um, 
I'm not gonna rage until I get closer. Okay. As you finish your cache of guiding bolts, uh, the radiant damage goes into them. <sighs> and you get close enough, probably, that you can see these dark red eyes. And there's like, it's like almost kind of like a grayish skin. And right in front of, almost kind of like clown paint, but like red going across the eyes, going down to the chin, down the neck. Let's touch you. Uh, no, we're fighting creepy clowns. <laughs> I see P. I see P. <laughs> no. Give us the tome and you can live. As the four behind him come up. Bring it. This one's going to run up to Aronis. No. These two. So you get opportunity to attack on one. Providence, if you like, that runs up. Uh, yeah, the one that's about to hit. Uh, whoever's a, whoever's closest to Arnus. There, uh, there's sorry, two of them right, not, right beside Arnus, but the one, they're both going to run by you to get around Arnus. Uh, the one that would be least accessible by, by anybody else. Okay, so the one in front of her. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, let me get to my attacks. That's an eight and a natural one. Eight in a oh, you rolled a natural one? Yep, I sure did. Well, they get an op. As they come by, they pull out the stag and get an opportunity attack on you. Um, but I am assuming. What is my AC? A nine misses. Yeah. All right. Uh, these two run up again to you, Arunus, and they come in with their daggers as one slice took a slice uh, towards Providence, but just misses. And it comes around to come into you. Does a 15 hit you? Yes. Oh, me? Oh, that right. hits. Yeah. Right. You take three points of piercing damage as that one come in. Okay. And it, with the other hand, there's another dagger. Actually, well, for flavor, they have two daggers. Other one comes into the other side to try to attack you. Okay. A 19 hits. Yep. You take Matt's damage, six, point, six piercing damage from the other dagger. Okay. These two, as they're getting close, they have similar like paint, but not like the one in the back. But it's kind of like, like, like the skin is tan, like a pale, very, extremely pale. But there's also like incarnate designs and stuff on their faces. The second one is going to make an attack. Aww. Does a ten hit? No, probably not. But a eighteen hits for another point six points of piercing damage. As Ellen comes in, just kind of clips your cloak. Doesn't actually do any damage. Ellen comes into the other side, and you get stabbed on each side. Oh, I'm hurting. Providence. Uh, the f I'm going to roll two dice to make it a little bit quicker. Uh, there's a natural one, so Providence, you get an opportunity attack on one of them. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm assuming a 12 misses. Uh, actually, do I get an opportunity attack? Because I already had one. No, this is the rules. If they roll a nat one, you automatically okay. get it. Because they come in and launch. The 10. Launch for a 10 misses. Second attack, uh, there's a 16 hit. Yes. Then a 17, I assume, will hit. All right. Yep. Take a total of eight points of piercing damage as the second one, as you go into the lunge for the opportunity attack, you exposes your right side while the other one comes in and just like right into the side, slide down your side, and your blood starts trickling down. I am not having a good day. You are going to regret that. I guess it's after midnight. It is a new day. Uh, 
that is their turn. The guy to cast initial spells turn. Does he have to do a concentration save for um, my attack? Did you hit him? Yeah, with the guiding, yeah, with bolt. guiding bolt. Oh, how much was that? Uh, 11. You're reminding me. Yay! A roll. Thank you. Actually, let me check. I gotta add my plus. Still not enough. Seven is not enough. So he drops concentration. Where you were I'm supposed to appear close to where I. Yeah, in any from, unoccupied right? space. Yeah, but this is a great right. place for, for a bully. So, Fane, as you like sitting here, like preparing, you see nothing, and then all of a sudden, poof, you're right back, mm-hmm. kind of almost where you are, but in between two people with cloaks. Yep. Maybe kind of confused. Do Do I get to release my, uh, my held action? What was your held action? It was to shoot anyone that looked nefarious as soon as I saw them. With your bow and arrow? Yeah, I know I have disadvantage. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna let you decide which of them I I, I am facing. Well, you're, you're, if it matters. back way where you were facing, you were facing down the hallway. So okay, the black cool. one, one in between you and Arnis. Alrighty, sounds good. So with this advantage, that is uh, 14 to hit. 14 hits? Yeah, let's go. Um, and that is six points of uh, arrow damage. Six points. Yeah. Come on, there we go. Nice. As you reappear, and you're like, oh shit! <laughs> or as you see a little bit of like blood trickle out of side of the mouth. I'm gonna look around. And go, nice hit. That's, that's my reaction. Okay. Uh, the guy that initially did it, because you're back now, he's just like, okay, then. Let's do this, then. Ass. The black and redness fills up from inside and spreads out as these itty-bitty little imps looking things start circling around him and he casts spiritual guardians what a jerk <laughs> well, showdown <laughs> yeah. man these melted in my truck for five months <coughs> so I need Arnis. No, I'm sorry, not Arnis. Uh, Nico in Providence to roll. Uh, wisdom saving throws. Those are my best ones, damn it. Oh, hold, hold, hold up. It says when the creature enters the area. Yeah, he casts it. You're you have entered that. It's always been that way. It's always the initial I'm cast. Just, not, I, I, nice try. <laughs> you said wisdom save? Yep. 16 right. for me. I'm 16, going to use you one save, of my so advantages. I got 18. 18, you succeed. You got 18? Yep. So you both save. Uh, 
half a 12 is six. So you say each of you take six necrotic damage. Uh, three for me. Necrotic. Are you resistant to necrotic? Yep. He's resistant to everything. Come on. Just radiant and necrotic. Unless I'm raging, then I get more. Oh, I, oops, I have to add six back. <clears throat> there it is. I forgot to take your determination away. All right. That is his turn. Fane is surprised. So we're back at the top of the round with Nico. Uh, so I am for my bonus action. I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike on myself. Um. So for this turn, or sorry, until the spell ends, I don't provoke opportunity attacks, and so I'm going to move <clears throat> down the hall, <laughs> away from all of them. <laughs> I will jump through Arwenus if I have to. Is special weapon the start of your turn or start of their turn? Uh, it's at the start of mine. I will do. I will do another save. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, I'd, same roll as last time. Eighteen. All right. This this fame d twenty that was someone... half of fifteen. Uh, is... Seven or eight. Seven. Uh, half of fifteen is seven. Yeah. Do we did roll you down? mean? Do you roll up. Did you mean eight? Eight. 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 Oh, eight. Yeah, Did you mean spirit guardians? Is yeah. that what you meant? It's a yeah. spiritual weapon? Okay. Yeah, it's at, it's at the start of my turn. It makes the terrain difficult terrain uh, while you're in it. <laughs> and uh, uh, on a turn that starts its turn there, it has to make another wisdom saving throw. Yeah. yeah. So what's your so, movement? Uh, my movement is 30. So I, I want to go as far down the hall as I can. We're getting a raid from more than dice with a party of seven. Welcome nice. in. Nice. Welcome in, Nerdhala. Can I get a shout out for Nerdhala and more than dice? Welcome in. We're in the middle of combat. It's fun. Welcome. Look at the Thank fun you for the follow. Uh, it's our first episode back from our move. So, look at the for fun. All the follows, having. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's your movement, uh, Nico? 30? It's 30. All right, so ten of your movement is uh, is within, so that would be so you get ten more after. Okay. So you get about right there. Alrighty, am I? I'm not within melee of any of the enemies, though, correct? No, the closest Alrighty. one is ten feet from you, right? In, that's right beside Arnus. Excellent. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So for my action, I am going to. Uh, where am I? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the the big guy. Uh, no, I'm gonna shoot the the one that's right in front of me. Got it. And uh, oh, does a fourteen hit actually? Maybe fourteen hits. All right. Uh, for nine points of arrow damage. Piercing. Yep. And then I'm going to use Zephyr Strike's other thing where I get an extra attack once while the spell is up. Um, How long does the spell last? It lasts for one minute. Uh, sorry, so I am concentrating. I'm concentrating, yeah. Sorry. I'm not used to this character yet. Um, da -da 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 -da. Um, yeah, and for this attack, I'm going to use my Determination. You got uh, it. So <laughs> So I just get to add the extra three for my proficiency, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. So <laughs> that was a waste of determination. I rolled a, I rolled a one. Oh, they get an opportunity attack. Does he? Because I'm not within melee. Is he within? I mean, they can throw a dagger. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. They should. If melee characters can get hit. But it yeah, just no, no, so that he doesn't have a dagger to attack with. 
They have two daggers. You can throw one. Did he have it out? Yeah, he just stabbed <laughs> Arwen. <laughs> I know. A 21 hit? Yeah. I'm going to roll this one because it's easier to see. Uh, four points of piercing damage as he looks at you and you just completely like fumble with your arrow and he looks at you right yep. in your shoulder as the dagger okay um and then because i took the extra attack i have 30 more feet this turn so i'm gonna go 30 more feet back but i, I can only do that the one time oh, what's and I'm your uh, what's your subclass uh my, uh, for for Ranger is Gloomstalker. Um, yes, as you move past me, I go, oh, she's back. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I rolled 12 for my concentration. So I'm, I'm still holding it. Got it. Take your turn, uh, finally. That's All right, turn. Kalis, you're up. Uh, okay, so I got the hammer out and I kind of look back at you, so I'm going to like Looks like it's a proper fight now. And so I smack it against my shield and I cast Wrathful Smite as a bonus action on my hammer. Concentrating on it? Yeah, it don't put that. I'm going to use it right now. So I'm going to run up. And then as soon as, yeah, right up into that guy. Okay. And then as soon as I sense that guy, I'm just going to whack him with my hammer. Um, uh, and I'll probably drop uh, Burgess. Since this is um, uh, combat, and I forgot to tell you, it's on my fault. Uh, I'm choosing, I'm going to do the, what is it? Uh, Divine Smite. Yeah, I have to announce it before I attack. But I I'm don't lose I'm, I'm the changing spell. It. I'm changing it to the new rules. I forgot what to put that rules? out. So the new rules coming out for that is going to be a bonus action to use it. Oh, so if you want to do that, I forgot to tell you. My bad. So, well, I already cast Wrathful Smite. Uh, so that's, that's fine. fine. So I'll for that I'll allow you to do it this time if you like. Okay, this one time. But do you want to pump up first level into it? Got it. Let's see if you hit first. <laughs> uh, twenty-three. Damn. Twenty-three definitely hits. All right, so that is 3d8. Um, 3d8 and a d6 plus 6. Ooh, shitty. Uh, 16 damage. 16? Yes. How does Kalis want to kill this guy? Oh, uh, he's got, like, the stars. When he, like, does the Divine Smite, like, stars kind of circle around his hammer and as he brings it down um it's just like this guy just gets decimated by starlight nice and then how much movement was that you were right here five, yeah 10, 15 you had 20 feet you did 20 feet okay uh I want to step up and over and get the other guy that's been attacking Arwenus. If you do that, you'll go into the spirit. Don't care. Body. Got it. Yeah, wisdom saving throw. Uh, ooh, 11. Uh, you fail. Yep. Hit me. Fifteen points of necrotic damage. Oof. Yeah, that was a pretty big roll. I'm gonna hit that guy. That's right. You fifth level, you get two attacks. Oh, I can't wait till sixth level and I get my second attack. Uh, yep. fifteen. <laughs> fifteen hits. Uh, for thirteen damage. Ooh. Uh, 13 damage as you come in. Arnis, you see as all these imps 
piercing into Kalis as he comes in with a hammer. You can see like half this guy's face crush into it, and he's like, he looks fucked up. Like he is like you don't know how this guy's standing right now. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that's it. Glitch. You still getting dressed? <laughs> <laughs> you hear combat out in the hallway. You're muted. Yep, I did that. My kid came <laughs> So, if I got no armor, I can't make magic armor. So, now I've got nothing on me. I guess I can grab my short bow and dagger and arrows and stick my head out the door and look what's going on. Because <clears throat> I don't have time for armor to get put on. You see these black reddish imps floating around just stabbing into Providence, uh, Arnus, and Kalis. And you see a dead body on the ground who looks like it was bashed in. And then another one's like barely standing right in front. I will just... Closest target, I'll just take my bow and shoot it. <laughs> or I'd try to hit it. Uh, they're going to have a higher AC because they're right in front of Arnus, so. Okay. So, yeah. Well, give it a try. Let's try not to roll one and hit somebody else. Yeah, don't do that. Anymore. Seven, so 13 to hit. 13 would have hit, but they didn't have the little bonus to AC as you're trying to shoot around your party members and it just kind of just barely misses. Constellation, you tear a piece of the cloth of their cloak. Well, that's something. Um, Emotional actions, damage. bonus. Yeah. Huh? Ah, take that. I guess. Oh. You hurt them deep spell. inside. I don't know what I could do. I want this lost. Forgot I have spells. I will cast our uh, providence is surrounded yeah well not surrounded but hey. she, yeah technically she is because she's got one that's behind her in front of Arnis. so technically she is surrounded i guess actually a better question who looks like most in trouble probably me okay Arnis is taking some hits providence is taking some hits so yeah, one of us, too, for sure. Okay. I will then... I'll actually add the one who can't take the hits. I'll cast mm -hmm. uh, Sanctuary on Arminus. That's my bonus action. I believe that's right. Yep, I did the right. Sar Sanctuary on bonus a... action? Yeah. yeah. But it, it goes away as soon as I want us attacks. Yeah. Is the only bad side. But she can take, miss a few, unless she's right after me. But I don't know that. Uh, yeah, That's you, you just woke up. <laughs> yeah. I just got here. Uh, Arnis, you're just out of range of the spiritual garden. So you're good on that front. But you feel, okay. well, Glitch, what does that spell look like when you cast it and it engulfs Arnis for what she feels like? I'm going to see if there's over the creature makes an attack. Yeah, just a quick. I got a light, very almost see through, very see through light, but just like a shell goes around her. Nice. Yeah, white light. All right. Arnis, you feel this come over you. What do you want to do? Awesome. So since but... I feel this light. Make an Arcana I... check for me. Okay. Will do. Fifteen. You you understand this is uh you've seen Providence cast it on people. It just looks a little different, but you feel like this is sanctuary. Okay. Some 
guessing this is Sanctuary, I'm actually going to use my action to summon Nova. Nova. Oh, I can't do that. Just use your imagination, because I don't know where her <laughs> miniature is at. If you need to use something else for now, that's fine. Just use the, the adult dragon. Just, we'll just <laughs> use that. And in case you think of the, uh, accidentally use the correct stat block for it, we're okay with that as well. <clears throat> no, I'll use this gargoyle. How about that? Okay, that's fine for now. Where do you want it? I want her in the space uh, between, uh, yeah, right next to me. Uh, perfect. Right next to you on top of the wall, like flying kind of thing? Yeah, kind of. I uh, forgot what she does. Hold on. She does instant kills whenever she makes contact with a bad guy. Okay. So. Sounds about right. Do you use her as a fine familiar or you get special abilities with her? Yeah. Uh, so basically it says, uh, when I summon her, each creature within 10 feet of the spirit, other than me, when it appears, must succeed on a dex saving throw of 16 or take 2d6 fire damage. In front of you. Yes. All right. Debt save. Is that me too? Uh, you're 15 feet away from her. You're. Yeah, you're. I think it's just Kalis and the. the oh, I got that... a nine. Fail. How much does it take? I'll take 10 dam uh, fire damage. How's your little uh, pseudo dragon kill it? <laughs> so you just see this little oh, yeah, uh, three fire, hit points, so. a little fire like dragon just start floating above Arwenus, and we'll see um, it attacking uh, Arwenus and just spit out a f just this radiant like kind of fire flame around s as soon as it's summoned and poof, ignites the person in front of her. I change out of my battery because it's dying. Okay. Uh, we do have some up or what? Do you, anything else you want to do? I can't hear you right now, so I'm asking. <laughs> Testing, one, two, three, can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, okay, I'm not sure go. if I could do this the same yeah. turn since I just summoned her, but my bonus action would be basically commanding her to do stuff. Yeah, because it's action to summon her, and you get your bonus action with her. Okay, so I guess I'll bonus action have her do flame seed. Oh, yeah. And we'll do the one in the very far back. The one that's concentrating? Yes. All right, roll. It's an attack, right? Yes, it is an attack. Ooh, it is going to be a 27. Damn! 27 hits. That was the damage. <laughs> no. I wish. 1d6 plus 3. Okay, so 1d6. 7 damage. Fire damage. Yeah. 7 fire damage? Yeah, like the flame of arrow just Starbo right 5 at Draco the guy's 4 LRU 5 Doobie Starbo 5 Smoke. And since I didn't technically uh, fight him, I still have the Sanctuary over me. Uh, so as it goes in, uh, hit, hits him, some falls off a little bit. You feel like it should have did full damage, but then he kind of shreds it off. So he took some damage, but not all. Hmm. And he'll make a con save. Huh? Uh, he can succeeds. And thank you, Star Ganda, for the subscription. You can give a advantage to somebody. So if you're still here and listening, uh, thank you for your subscription. You can give somebody an advantage. Alrighty, uh, I guess I didn't announce this, but everybody that raided in, if you're still here, uh, we have Determination. Uh, they're going to have one at a time right now, Assam and Nico is the only ones that do not have a Determination. The rewards are down into the thing. Alrighty, uh, thank you for the shout out. Uh, Alright, so that is your turn. Are you moving? No, no, no. no. Right. Since he's right there, no. Uh, you do know that oh. they won't be able to attack you because you got Sanctuary on you. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's move about 10 they, feet back. 
They have disadvantage. They make, disadvantage. No, they make a wisdom saving throw. Right. And if oh, they succeed on the wisdom saving throw. Yeah. And I'm oh. not 100% sure about what specifically dispels it. I can't remember exactly, but there are certain things that do and certain things that don't. If oh. she attacks anything, it dispels it. She yes. does, or if you she do. physically has to do them. All right. Uh, what's it, the wisdom save? What's your save? Maybe it's just if she... If she does. If the... My spell yeah. save is 16. It's a wisdom save? Oh, yeah. that's, the wrong, that's the wrong stat block. I was about to say, damn. Ah, wisdom. If the warded creature makes an attack, casts a spell yeah. that affects an enemy, no, no. or deals damage to another creature, the spell ends. It does not succeed. Oh, I should say, uh, I forgot to say this. Kalis? Uh, how do you use your blind sight? You just see shadows of the person, or you see the full. I just see kind of like shadows and the general sense of them. Okay. So I'll I don't really say, see. Arnis, you see this. I forgot to mention this. As these these two both die in front of you, uh -huh. their body forms into this white skin. Their face ship change. They're not what they looked like a moment ago. I forgot to mention that. My bad. I'm terrible. I'm rusty at this. Uh, Sam, you're up. Um, Sam is going to look at the clown guy and kind of cock his head to the side and ask, who do you serve? Um, is Sam is within 30 feet of everybody? Or how far is he away from everybody? 30 feet? Yeah. You're probably like 50. Feet is pretty much up to where uh, Kalis is. All right, I will take a couple of steps so that I'm within 30 feet of everyone. Uh, for my bonus action, uh, Isam's shadow will like slip away from him and then slide along the ground and then like slide up behind the dude that's concentrating. And a uh, spiritual weapon, his shadow will try to like shank him from behind. Or grab a hold of his neck. I think that's cooler. Uh, which weapon? Spiritual weapon. Let's see. Nope, it's not in this. Da -da 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 -da. Use another gargoyle. I have a mace in my uh, travel bag. Where you want it at? Uh, it's going to be either like, is there space next to him or maybe above him five feet? So I can have it like, shirting? yeah, I mean, yeah. it'd be cool if it's like just on the wall, like as a shadow, like grabbing sure. him, but like technically right above his head. Here's yeah. So that's a concentration. Ooh. Yeah. It's not concentration. Uh, that's a 19. No, no, I, I was asking, uh, I was asking if he's going to get the guy that's concentrating. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to break All his right. concentration. That's okay. a 19 to hit. 19 hits. And that is 10 points of damage. It's force damage, right? Those, uh, I think it's radiant. I'm pretty possibly. sure it's force. I'm it could be sure force. Force. You're correct. Okay, you guys are correct. You know more than me. I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I play choleric on Monday nights, so I, I use. This is power. my this is my first cleric, and yeah. we've been gone for like a month, and I was like, I forgot yeah, yeah. what everything does. <laughs> um, All right, that's so, your bonus yeah, action. Your action. Oh, well, depending. depending oh, yeah, how much on damage? How much damage? Uh, that was 10, depending upon if he uh, saves his concentration check or not, is going to inform oh, what I do fuck. next. You suck! I rolled a natural one on the concentration check. <laughs> <laughs> you suck ass! I thought you'd be a cool-ass character. <laughs> a cool-ass enemy. <laughs> I mean, he can still cast it again, probably. Um... <laughs> The, but he was going uh, to do some moving, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then what I'm going to do next is... 
I uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna toll the dead on him. Ooh, wisdom. That's a sixteen wisdom. I mean, it's probably not the wisest move because he's like a high wisdom. I, I think by guy. definition, it's a it's a wise move. <laughs> it's an unwise uh, move. A twenty. I'm assuming twenty saves. Yeah, yeah, that does nothing. All right. And I'm now like I guess like ten feet closer than I was before, maybe. Um, how are you guys doing on hit points? Everybody good? I'm at like yeah. half. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rue got hit so, a couple of times, but she's doing okay. A song? Yeah. It's technically you attacking him with the spiritual weapon, so it's different. It's different in D and D than Baldur's Gate, so Sanctuary's still up. If yeah. that's where you were going, I'm not going for that. He doesn't have Sanctuary. He has Hellish Rebuke. Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> kind of. Uh... It's kind of like that, but it's called something else. It just happens. It doesn't say because he has to spend spell slots to do it. As a reaction, struck by a melee attack, the what he is can spend a spell slot to deal three d six necrotic damage. Wouldn't I have to be within melee range though? It doesn't say that. I think it's implied by it being a melee attack. But I don't mind. Like it's cool. I don't mind. Oh wait. Oh wait! It's fine. I mean, you you do have resistance to it. You'd be fine. I'm not a barbarian, Providence. <laughs> <laughs> With nine million hit points. Neither right. is Providence. <laughs> I'm a holy warrior. Yeah, it kind of applies by to the attacker. So I guess they have to be a melee. I guess whatever. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll save it. Providence, you're up. Unless some. That was it, right? You trying to move anymore? Yeah, that, you start your movement? Uh, so long as I'm within 30 feet of everyone, so I can pop in my Divin Channel Divinity if they need it, if they're looking for yeah, some should. extra. Stargana yeah. gives me the inspiration. Thank you, Stargana. No, Stargana! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, that I mean, I need determination, though. <laughs> No, I don't have determination at all. But why on... In, so I tried to add it, but it says N-A on inspiration under DM. I guess, that that's, a, I guess that's a sign. Not applicable? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not applicable, yeah. So you can't get inspiration. Oh, she said... <laughs> she, she, she It's advantage is what it is. She okay. gave me the advantage for subscribing. Yeah, yeah, that he, you, she, he should be able to get that. That's fine. She, she just said inspiration. I, okay. Yeah, yeah. I put it in there. All right. All righty. Uh, Providence, you're up. Uh, yeah. So she's gonna drop right into her righteous fury. Um, so, uh, for uh, anybody that uh, is watching, um, we reflavored wild magic barbarian. Um, so I'm gonna roll on that table. Uh, three. Hold on a second. Three. Uh, Radiant. Okay, so um, she, it, it, you guys see that uh, Providence is kind of like she's trying to do her Radiant Consumption again. Um, and it's about to burst. Uh, but then, and Assam, you might be interested in this. She seems to be able to control it uh, really well. And she managed to like force like a glowing ball of energy in between her hands. And then she just hucks it. Um, I was about to use my mouse to point. Uh, can I toss this ball uh, um, Did you get the in between? One? Uh, it's number three on the list. I don't. So it's the one that it's the one that's the similar similar to being the floofs, the exploding floofs. Oh, the the little. The, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. those three guys take one d six radiant damage, and they do at the end of all of my turns. As like a glowing orb of light, just like bursts right there. Yeah, but you summon it every time. You don't have to be in the same spot. Yep. Yeah, I gotta throw it wherever I want. All right. Um, uh, so they all take one d six. Uh, I'll roll that. Don't they have that save? Uh. Is it, there a save? 
I don't dexterity saving throw. Yeah, so, uh, so that'll be all three of them. <clears throat> yep. Um, I don't know what the he gets no bonuses. So the big guy got probably nine. thirteen. Yeah, DC thirteen. Yeah. Uh, the main guy that's kind of strained got a nine, so he didn't get any. He didn't make it. Uh, ten for one of them. And Yay. ten for the other one. So these uh, three guys... damage, three whole radiant damage. Oh, what was the save? Thirteen. Oh, thirteen. Shoot. All right, never mind. Three damage for this guy, and three damage for this guy. And I think, are you? I don't care about that. No, it killed close. all of them. Yay! Yay! Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, that's the first damage those guys is taking, though. Uh, uh, and then which is the guy that hit me, uh, that stabbed me, and sliced my arm, and that I'm now bleeding? The one closer to away, on you, on your camera. Uh, the closest to the camera. No, I'm sorry, closest away from you, the wall. Is it? I'll just point at it. Not this one. That guy? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna attack him with the great sword. That's a 16 on the die plus 7, 23. 23 hits. Uh 2d6. That's nine plus four plus two radiant. So thirteen plus thirteen plus two radiant. No. Yeah, plus plus two. So 15. so 15 total, but it's different damage types. Okay. Yeah, he takes it all. Yeah, he does. He's looking rough after that one. As you cut into it, it's like blood circling down the side. He is looking pretty messed up. That's for cutting me. <sighs> That's just my turn. Give, just give I'll stay here. The, just give us uh, the tome. Actually, can I... Can I just move like two feet towards the doors so that I am blocking both people. I just want to like impose and make sure no one can get past me. Uh, so you're going to block me from getting into melee? I will stay where I am. <laughs> 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 All right. Is that your turn? All right. That's my turn. Yeah. I mean, you totes can. I'll just like reach over you, just like wiggle my hammer over your head. <laughs> Damn, we're still in round two. Shit. All right, the one you just attacked is going to come up with his daggers. He's coming and try to attack you. Because he's on like death door and shit. Uh, 17 for that one and a 15. Uh, both hit. And what type of damage is it? Piercing damage. Okay. Nine, nine piercing damage from both daggers. And then you're raging so 18 it. twice? Huh? So each? Nine no, each? No, that was total. That was total. Okay. So five damage. Okay. Yeah. I just did them all at once to try to get it out of the way. But you gonna get me scared. spend the time talking about it anyway. <laughs> Those are going to be some powerful daggers. Yeah. All right. Uh, the one in front of you is also going to come at you. Uh, that is 16 uh, and uh, 18. Those are both hit. Uh, 16, so 10 total reduced to 5 because you're raging. Got it. As they both come in. As tall as you are, as big as you are, it's almost kind of like uh, the scene from um, Game of Thrones where the little birdies went to go kill the previous... Uh, guy just like just stabbing into you, into her knees. Ooh. I can take it. Alrighty. He is going to. <sighs> Looking around as he's losing bodies left and right. That's <sighs> so. Push. 
As this black, red energy flows into himself and his other people. Uh, they all regain 11 hit points as he does mass healing word. This one's back up. Got it. Kill that guy next. Uh, if you guys bonus. feel like you need me to use the channel divinity, you can tell Isam to do that, but I'm holding off for now. I forgot what yours do. Uh, you get temporary hit points every round. Okay. Mine blinds people, so. <laughs> uh, he's going to want to move up to about right here to pull out his mace and make an attack on Providence. Thank you for coming to melee range. <laughs> and I'm using my advantage that I got from uh, Stargana just now. Well, I'll get two rid of that. Natural eight for a total of 11. <laughs> Damn it. That's going to miss. That, no! That's what you get, Stargana. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. That is his turn. And Verona is up now. She's no longer surprised. Alrighty, um, Verana is going to step out of the room. Uh, notice that everyone is far too clustered to use her good damage spell, and she's just gonna point down the hallway and pick the one in the back. No, she'll pick the one in the red, and uh, and she's gonna cast Firebolt. Both in the red. You talking about the more is more reddish? The one that's more bright red. Yeah. yeah, the one that doesn't look purple on my screen. So there's purple, there's red, and this is more of a darker red. Okay, so light red, yeah. Yeah. And, ooh, it's not a one, so she rolled a 10 total with a two on the die. Well, she misses. What was right, that, firebolt? Then... Yeah, with firebolt, yeah. All right, uh, uh, when she stepped out, mm -hmm. Providence... Kayla's wouldn't see this, but and uh, Arnis, she would see this because you're probably the most closest. As soon as she stepped out, because she is holding that tome, you remember quick, she entered mm -hmm. holding that tome. His eyes immediately lock onto Verana as she steps out with that tome. And then she's stepping back in, I'm assuming? Uh, yeah, she's going back in the room. Oh, that's, yeah. I mean, Arwenis can come too, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, but that'll be that'll be her turn. Yep. You see him eye that tome real fucking quick. Oh, Nico! Hell no. Yay! Um, so, for my turn, I will... I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, I'll shoot one of them, I guess. Um, we'll go for the, uh, the bright red guy. Uh, as well. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at that guy. Which one? Uh, the, the bright red one, but it, it's fine because I don't think an 11 hits. No, 11 misses. Yeah, I rolled another two. Mm. Um, yeah, that's gonna be that. And I'm just gonna stand back here and be like, fine then. All right, Kalis, you're up. Uh, I'm going to step up next to Providence. Uh, and then I feel that guy right in front of me, so I'm going to whack him with a hammer. Yeah, got it. Whack a mole. <clears throat> uh, 14. 14 hits. Oh, whew. 
Ah, boo. Seven damage. Nice. Is he still alive? Yep, thanks for that mass saving word he just did. Well, I'm gonna whack him again. Whack him again! Uh, 20 to hit this time. 20 hits. Are you gonna do Divine Smite? No. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do 8 damage to him this time. Guess how much you needed? 9. Eight points of damage you needed as you come in and crush in, oh. come up and you swim around, come back down. As you crack, you see the eyeballs kind of pop out. And as he comes down, you don't see it really, Kalis, but Providence sees it because she's right in front of you. You see the face that was there sh shift back into some other looking face and it drops down to the ground out. Uh, and then, for my bonus action, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on myself. Shield of Faith! So I'm concentrating. And I'm going to take one more step up to be face-to-face -face with the other guy. And end my turn. All right. Glitch. Uh, Glitch is just going to hold up his bow. And just kind of point his finger out instead and cast second level magic missile. Woo! Nice. Oh, beautiful beam footage. Who are you, who are you targeting? <laughs> uh, closest There's two one left. To me. Yeah, so. Yeah, it'll be the other yeah, little guy. One. I'll put them all into one character. All right, got it. Just to... Yeah, I'll just roll. My damage is 13 damage. Oof. Nice! That's the first time he's been hit, so he's looking pretty rough after this. <laughs> pounded. I thought they all got hit by the blasty thing. He got, also got healed by the mass healing word. So, yeah, technically he took three, but then he got it back from the 11 points of healing. And then he got a magic yeah. missile to the it's, face. It's Pretty just, much. Yeah. Is that your turn, Glitch? Bonus action. Not yeah, I guess that's it. My can't do any more spells. All right, Arnis. That's it. Arnis. All right. Okay. I don't uh, see you anymore. I see, like, the top of your head. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> My pain, so I've been kind of hiding my face. Oh, okay. Ow. So, Sorry. Uh, no, it's all right. It's fine. I'll, I'm hanging in there. I'm going to bonus action uh, ask Nova again to cast uh, Flame Seed on the one in the back, very back, who is always concentrating. He's not concentrating on anything right now. Oh, no, not right now, but. Was, yeah. Yeah, was. Uh, dexterity save is. Hold on. You rolled natural one. It doesn't matter. Okay. So let me roll these dice the are hating me tonight. We're okay with that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful, really. I'm having a little pain right now. I think it was three d six, right? Uh, two d six, and then I think it's a plus three as well. That's yeah. where I'm getting the three at. So how much? So it will be, whew, it will be 14. 14. Nice. Half of that is eight. Uh, half of that is seven. Seven? Really? Seven. Yeah, it's 14 exactly, yeah. so seven. Math is hard. It's okay. So as it comes, it's he just kind of wipes it off. He still, he has not lost focus on where Verona went. Uh, I am going to step in front of the door, kind of blocking it. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna the I still have the sanctuary. So, no, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll hold my action. Alright. What are you holding your action for? Uh, if he gets, uh, if he, the... 
when concentrating gets in melee range, I'm going to whack Get him it. with the whack a mole. All right, it's all. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to use my special Isan dice to attack with my shadow. And that is a 16 plus 8 for a 24. Oh, you're going to move it to hit him with it? 24 to hit, uh, that's it. Yeah, and then a 1d8 plus 5 for 10 points of damage. Damage. That is my bonus action. Uh, and then for my action, do any of you guys speak Infernal? No. Nope, nope, okay. You hear him say I, something. I speak it. You hear him say something in Infernal. Uh, he says, I listed all the stuff that, oh. He says, uh, Domino, son of shadows, twist our fates. And then he's going to bless uh, Varana, who he thinks is Fane. And he's also going to say to mm -hmm. Kalis, Fane is back. Uh, so he's going to bless Varana. He's going to bless himself. And he's going to bless uh, Kalis. So that's a d4 to attacks and same throws, I think. So Kalis, Providence. No, not me. No, Kalis, Verana, and myself. You can't see Verana right now. She's I don't range. have to see her. She just has to be within range. Oh, okay. What's your range of it? Uh, 30 feet. Yeah, you won't be able to get Kalis unless you move up. Yeah, I, w I said last turn I moved up 30 feet to where oh, everyone was in 30 feet. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So, Verana, and who was the third one? Myself. Yourself, okay. Selfish, got it. Yes. I probably should have done that before I attacked, but whatever. Yeah, I do it all the fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> is that your turn? Um. Yep, that is my turn. He also, again, he says, who do you serve to uh, to the clown guy? Um, did you say any specific language? Or did you say any in common? Uh, does he recognize any of these spells as being infernal in nature? I'm guessing with all the red and the flames, he's he'd already said it last turn in common, so I guess he'll try it in infernal this time, see if that helps. Uh, you say it, but he is so fixated where Verano went. He's not even paying attention to you, really. All right. All right. Providence. Oh, me already. Um, who's left? There's just a jumble of circles. I can't see what's going on. Yeah, you got the, the minion in front of you. And then he's behind, like, oh, you can also hit him too. They're like kind of right beside each other right in front of you. Yeah, I'm going to hit the main guy. Um, so first of all, I'm going to throw... No, no, I'm going to hit first. Um, that's an 11 plus 7, 18. 18 hits. The big guy? Uh, yeah, the big guy. Um, so that'll be... Ooh, nice damage. 11 damage. Plus 4, plus 2 radiant. So 15, 16, 17 damage. So how much damage? 17. 17. And as you do this, because I finally get to do it, because somebody actually hit him with a melee attack, he pulls yeah. out this black and red, and it comes, as you come down with your sword, it kind of travels through your sword, vibrates through your hand as you take 15 points of uh, necrotic damage, but you're resistant to it. Mm-hmm. Seven? Is that right? Eight. Well, are we rounding up or down? Up. So it'll be eight. Eight. Yeah. I just put, I just about took away eighty nine damage. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, and then uh, then she's also going to throw that little gl uh, glowy ball, and she'll throw it between the two guys. All right. And so it's I actually miscalculated. It's a DC fourteen because it's uh, eight plus Four proficiency. Times. Yeah. Plus. Uh, plus constitution. Uh, fourteen. They both fail. Uh, that is ooh, six, six, six radiant damage. Ooh, six radiant damage. Nice. Not bad. Uh, as that one comes up, 
as like the one in front of you is like half the cloak burns off from that and he starts smoking from behind and he's like <sighs> like he's out of breath and then the other the big one he, as you do that a little bit of blood starts trickling out of the area as he's now become bloody mm -hmm. that's all i'm gonna i'm not gonna move all right well the one in front of you is gonna make an attack on you with his two daggers a natural 20 for one of them uh, that is not a natural 20, uh, as I feel a set of wings wrapped around me. Yeah, nice. Uh, but it still counts as a hit, it's just not a critical, right? Yeah, yeah, so regular damage. Uh, let me see if the other one actually hit you. Uh, 15? That is my AC. Okay, so they both hit, just all regular damage. Five. And that's piercing as well? Yeah, nine points total in this piercing. Okay. So it's half because you're a barbarian. And then... Arnis, I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Oh, Ooh. That's, not, that's not good. That's bad. I, I'm, I'm in big trouble. That was a net one. That, that, it had to be <laughs> charisma. Every, really? As everybody sees, Arnis disappears. She go poof. Hmm. Huh? Hmm? I said what? I said she go poof. Oh, he said, ooh. Yeah. Uh, sure. And. That that doesn't count as a harmful spell? No. Actually, I don't no. think it does. No. That's not Nope. It just gets ready, I think. Uh, how much movement? Oh, and I don't have my reaction. She, I do. Yeah, you do. You get your attack. But he's going to right, run, go through you, Kalis, through your space, because it took a little bit more movement and gets into the room where Verona is. 23 at. to hit. Yes. 23 hits. For 11 damage. 11, nice. Are you now not allowed to smite on reactions? Uh, no, because it's a bonus action to speak. For the love of fucking Christ! Did I kill him? No, I rolled a net one on a concentration check. Ha <laughs> Welcome Fuck back! Fuck you! You're going to <laughs> Same thing for you, uh, Arnis. You, you come out for a split second into the stars in the night, and you come back as he enters the room where Verana is at. You're a dice oh. shell. You rolled too <laughs> many ones tonight. Okay. Verona is up with the dude coming in. Like he's as he's coming through this door, he's lunging at this tome. <laughs> but he, he he doesn't do anything. He just runs in at her. Yeah, because he did his action and, on uh, Arnis. Alrighty. Um, she is going to use. She's going to reach up towards him and cast Burning Hands, which is a dexterity saving throw. DC 16. A natural 20. Why do I volunteer to learn two new characters in one night? <laughs> <laughs> I asked. I volunteered for anybody. I thought Arnis would take because it would be more connected for her, but he's fine. Uh, 20 rolled a natural 20. Okay. Um, so it takes half damage. Did, did I say that I was upcasting it? I don't think I said that out loud, so we'll just leave it at level one. Um, okay. I wanted to upcast it, but that's okay. That's three of these for a total of 
15, so 8 damage if it's halved, and then I don't know if it gets halved again. That's, That's fire, you. right? Yeah. So it's Usually you can 8, so it's in halved again, so 4. And, uh... Yeah, she's just gonna be angry. Okay. Nico! <clears throat> yep. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I see one enemy still in the hallway, correct? Yes. All right, Barely. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot at them. Only this time I'm gonna use my combat D20 that I forgot about. All right, so you have yeah. a lot of your people in the way, so I'm gonna give them a higher DC. That's okay. It's, uh, you can do that, and I'm gonna use one of my advantages. Cool. Uh, so that is a uh, 25 to hit. Yeah, with that bonus AC, you missed. No, I'm just kidding. You hit. <laughs> uh, do you do at least three points of damage? I Yeah, I do. I do 12 points of damage. How would you like to kill him? By shooting him with an arrow. You want to describe it? Um, it just goes really directly straight through his face and into the wall behind. Well, that's technically not a wall. I've kind of misbuilt the thing, but that's the stairs. That's, so I don't goes. care. It hits the ceiling of the stairs as it descends. Exactly. Uh, huh. if there was a, actually, no, it'd be sticking out of it. The face kind of morphs into its rich, what it's supposed mm -hmm. to look like, and it falls down. And it actually... Rolls down the stairs. Is that your turn? Um, um, I'll move forward because there's just the one guy left, yeah? Yeah, they went into the y'all's or their room. All right, I will run. move forward to be right behind Isam. I'm also going to drop concentration. I haven't been using any part of that for a while now. Um, but that'll be my turn. All right, Kalis, you're up. I'm running after that guy. I hit him as he ran by, and I'm just going to follow him in. Well, you kind of run into uh, Arnis right in front of the door. I gently push her aside and go in. <laughs> Do you know where he went, though? Because he kind of left your blind sight. I mean, that door is open. I guess, but... And he's, like, right next to the door, right? Well, he went inside. He's inside. He's, like, ten feet in the room. Well, if I'm at the door and he's ten feet in, I see him. Okay. How far does it go? Thirty feet? Ten feet. Oh, ten feet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll nudge over. Just for flavor, Providence would be yelling out, He ran that way, end point. <laughs> Thank you! You feel the cool darkness guiding your hand with an extra 1d4 to your attacks. Yep. Uh, and I'm gonna attack him. Now, the new rule says I don't have to choose to use my bonus action until after I know I hit. Yeah. You, you, okay. It just cuts down on how many times you can smite on your attacks. It just gives you yeah. one, pretty much one smite. Which I like, so I won't. And it blows my bonus action, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, it's that means a few. It's yeah. fine. Um, 16 plus a d4. Uh, 19 to hit. hit. Yeah, 19 hits. All right, I'm going to use the second six. level. I'm going to use the second level. Ooh. For a smite. Uh, so that is 28 damage. 28? Yeah, I rolled a 22 Jesus. plus 6. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> God damn. You want to describe that hit? You don't kill him, but you want to describe that hit? Uh, once again, as I'm running, I just smack the star on my shield again, and the oh, hammer it? lights up, and <clears throat> I haul in and feel like, I don't know what you want, but you're not getting it. And I just you, you take eleven points of necrotic damage because he got his ratchet back after his turn. So, 
Yeah, you say you don't know what you want, but you're not getting it. Is that what you say? Yep. And then I'll hit him again. Oh, damn, you got two attacks. Fuck. Ooh. Uh, the D4. Oh, shit. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve ah. misses. Fuck. As the Socratic timers goes up your arm and kind of staggers you a little bit and you swing wildly on the next attack and you just miss. I'm going to stand there and hold my ground. You got it. Glitch. Okay. I'm uh, looking kind of rough, by the way. Are you? Yeah. Is that a hint? <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I'm... <laughs> okay. You're beside me? No. I disappeared. No, I'm in the room. room. You're right here. You're right okay. here. Okay. Oh, you guys are in the room fighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He okay. ran in after yeah. Verona when he saw Verona with the tome. Okay. Is there any... So my internet disappeared for a bit. So is there... How many enemies left? Just one. The big gun. The big bad. Just in the room. Yeah. Okay. I will go into the room as well. Or I'll poke my head through the door, at least. Yeah, you're kind of sharing the sharing the door view with uh, Artemis. Hey, okay. hey, hey! Watch it. <laughs> Let me push her. Get out of the way. Um, Dude. Then I will touch Kalis. You have to go and... in the room for Kalis. Kalis is ten feet in the room. Yeah, I'm too far from the door. Oh, okay. Never mind. I. How hurt is that person looking? Maybe I'll oh, try. Oh, he looks fucked up after that attack. Yeah. Um. What kind of metal does it wear? He's not wearing any metal. No weapons or anything? Yeah, it's a mace. Actually, no, he does have a breastplate. Perfect. Let's barbecue him. Heat metal. Not this again. And then run away. So wearing object takes damage from it. Oh, what's the death save? It's a death save, right? That's what I'm reading. It doesn't say. Any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage. I'm taking that brush plate and then oh, eating no, it they, right they up. You don't get the save so, from it? Oh, shit. No, he has to get it off. Yeah. yeah. And you're concentrating it's the beauty on that, of right? heat metal. Yeah. yeah. All right, how much damage does this do? 11. And it is concentration, yet. Yeah. Glitch, he has 11 hit points. How would you like to do this? I'd say his I... uh, start steam comes out of his armor from the all the water and its skin starts boiling away. <laughs> just, a, just around nice. the chest area. Uh, yeah, just a horrible, painful death we all just... As it fails, he's, he's still lunging at the the Tom as he drops dead. Melted inside. And with that, let's go and take our break. We're out of combat, and then we can... You can guys have that group meeting. Sounds good. Yeah. Guys, we'll be right back. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, we'll be back, guys. Yep. And welcome back. The combat just ended. Up to you guys. I need to take off some determinations here. Because uh, Isam and Nico has used theirs. Sorry, what was that? I'm taking off your determinations on the main screen. Mm. Where does it say we have that? The big D. <laughs> Yep. Oh, we don't have like D6s or stuff anymore. No, no, you have determination now. We can, which chat redeems, you can only have one at a time. Isam needs D, guys. <laughs> Go under the big D, and I don't mean determination. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you can get kicked off Twitch. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, I'm talking about Dallas, obviously.
Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, combat just ended and take it away. That's Ron uh, like scarming to hold that tome because clearly she saw that he was after it and you guys did too. Um, or everybody except for the, the ones I said didn't. Nico, if Nico can see that Arwenus is injured, she'll go up and, and cast a level two cure wounds. Oh, Arwenus is injured. Yeah, so you're getting Arwenus a level two. and Silver are injured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Unless you pull away, in which case I would respect it, but... Uh, right now, she's just sitting here going like this right now, and look up and go, yeah, fine. So I'll just put a hand on, on your shoulder, and you get... Ooh, that's not bad. Um, 14 hit points. Oh, jeez, that's a good... Ooh. I, like, uh. <laughs> rip a chunk off of this guy's robe. And just start cleaning my hammer off. And walk back into the hallway. Can we have that chat now? Uh, yes. Providence's eyes are still glowing, and you see her. She has like this ball of energy, like glowing up in her hand. She guys looks at you. And it's like, oh, she tosses it aside. Um, who who is the next most injured looking person? Too late. I rerolled. Kalis, I heal you for thirteen. Right. Thank you. Uh, I then think I'll Providence up, needs help. Uh, I'm missing 34 hit points. Cool. I'll walk up to <laughs> and just be like, may I heal you a bit? Yeah, that'd be appreciated. Alrighty. I'm back up to a little over half. So you get uh ba -ba -ba -ba. how much is that? You get you also get 14. Oh nice, uh, thank you. Uh, hmm. Appreciate it. Well, that was fun. Uh, Arwenus, did you go into space as well? For a split second there, yeah. It was very quick, though. Yeah. It was pretty, at least. But, Verona, what are you... What, what the hell? Okay. Wait, How'd Fane, you you're here? back. That's not Fane. It's not Fane. It looks Rana, a lot like Fane. It, look, it, it looks like it's Fane's body, but it's not Fane's soul. Who's Verana? My patron, basically. Yes. You're a warlock? No. Not quite. She gave me my powers to free her. Which, we got to figure out how you two switched in the first place. I think I can answer a little bit of that. Okay. So, I had this vision. Um, the, the dagger. What was it? Persimmon? <coughs> yes, persimmons. Um. Miss Verana here used to be inside of that dagger. The cards. No. The bad dagger. The no? dagger. What? Uh, she was initially in the cards. It may, I may have wrote it a little bit wrong, but she was initially in the cards. But what had happened now is the dagger. Then we need to kill her. Dang, is a murder. Dagger. We cannot kill her. Bane is Wait, dead. The murder dagger. Bane is not dead. She is in the dagger. They switch spots. This woman. Then who's with... in the cards? I don't know. Bane told me she <laughs> was, was on the second. The cards were destroyed. What? But isn't the dagger connected to uh, what's his face's sister? Yes. So is the dagger evil? I don't yes. think it's good. It's got the six-headed dragon on it. I thought the dagger was inside Fane. That's... 
she was getting sucked into the dagger and I was trying to keep her from being sucked and then this whoever the fuck she is came and interrupted the spell and did her on who's where the who's whoever the fuck she is I don't know who she is maybe that's her name we have to do research I just know like who'd you see Kalis I saw this woman with long white hair and red eyes red eyes Like okay. armor, like over the side of the face. Yeah. I, Does she who, look who, like what I turned into? Did she have two giant things on her ears, like black, kind of going this way? Yes. She likes to dress really scantily. I would. What's. Uh huh? Huh? Skatily is what he said. I'm assuming like bra and panties or something like that, or like she doesn't wear a lot of clothes. Yeah. Okay. You guys don't have any vocabulary. Growing <laughs> 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 some words, guys. Wait, so, <laughs> this girl. Who... Michaela grew up in the temple. Okay. <laughs> But Providence, I just need you to know, Fane is alive. That's what I'm trying to tell her! Wherever she is, she is stuck in there, and we can get her. We have to get her. Uh, can, can I grab Kayla's hand and go, Fane? Is Fane in Kayla's now? Fane? What if... <laughs> I could talk to Fane in my head. I used to talk Verona in my head that way. That's how she connected us. Now I can talk to Fane. So, but why are you holding Kayla's hand? Because I did it with Providence and she was able to talk to Fane. Just thinking it was more open, but I guess it's just between me, Providence. Did you talk to Fane before or after her body showed up? Before. I think she's locked away. Oh no. Wait. That means, oh, brother. She's locked in the eyes of the green head on this dragon. But Providence, I you can, said. I can prepare a spell called. Ominous. Message. Yes. The powers are now tied to fame. I kind of figured that one out. As long as you can still use your powers, she's still alive. It's like her life force is connected to your powers. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Well, we just have to find the dagger. Didn't you say it was sucked into this one? Or... I don't know. Hi, I am Verana. I don't normally look like this. And we're getting a raid from the Defenderverse. Defenderverse. The Fire Fingers. Welcome in, everybody. I'm going to tell in a fire session here. Welcome in. If you're just joining us, we do have rewards. Uh, we have what we call determination. People can add the proficiency modifier to any D20 rolls. Subscriptions, you can give an advantage to anybody. A gifted sub gives a, a greater portion of healing. And then five and all the way up is magic items. And there's also some rewards in chat also for a magic item as well. And they can only have one determination. Currently, Isam and Nico have used their determination. So they're only ones you can give one to. But thank you. Welcome in. Glad to have you. How was y'all's raid or stream as we cut back into our game? Because we're running out of time. Sorry. If you guys w want, tomorrow I can prepare a spell called Sending to send a message to Fane, possibly. Uh, it says I can send it across other planes of existence. 
That might work. Yes, <laughs> please. Look yes, the, I mean, it's ahead. worth trying. Providence, didn't you say you kind of saw where the dagger might have been? I don't I don't know anymore. I I don't like this. Right, I know. I, it's not fair. It's not it's, it's not fair. But also it's it's something that will only get done if we do it. If only we knew what the dagger was called. Just want my friend back. Want I want her back, back for you. And just backtracking a touch, did you say your friend is in the eye of a six-headed dragon? Dagger. In in a dagger. Okay. All right. Six-headed uh, dagger. Also, that, who that's... are you? Oh, oh, hey, sorry. Chaos That's rude of me. Hey, I'm Nico. <laughs> nice to meet you. And I'll hold up my hand to shake your hand. He just kind of stares blankly forward. He's blind. Oh, um, here, and I'll just move forward and, like, grab your hand and, and shake it a little. I'm Nico. Nice to meet you. I assume you have a name other than Man Table. It... I they mean, were, you were floating a game they were playing cards on. I think they were doing something. Somebody had to have stepped on me. Glitch. I step on him. Sure about that? Put my feet on him. Oh, there's your answer. <laughs> so, sorry, what That's was fine. your name, though? Kalis. All right. Nice to meet you. Verona, how did you get here? Sorry. Yes. Verona. Yes. She Does the name Bloodstone mean anything to you? No. If anybody's watching Isam, his arms kind of cross uncomfortably. I Lisa? technically can't, but I would be like, does Bloodstone mean anything to anybody here? Dom? No. Uh, Providence is just staring at Isam, yeah. Ooh. He's frowning a lot. Isam? You feel tense. Are you casting a spell on me? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> if I did, it would be like lay on hands or... Another detect thoughts. Yeah. Um, oh, God, I forgot I have that. <laughs> Why does he sound feel tense? You said you crossed your arms really tight. That's what you said. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought maybe Kalis was doing something to make yeah. him feel extra tense. Just gonna... Bloodstone what? Dagger? Like the thing that Fane is currently <laughs> residing inside. It's called a bloodstone dagger? Is that... That's what I got out of my vision. Why, why did he want this tome? I don't even know what that is. That's it's a book. The, it's the, it, it's well, the book we were supposed to free Verona from her cage. Me and Fame were going to. So could you use that same book to free Fame? Probably. We just need all the things We for just it, need the dagger. That too. But we need we can, individual spells. 
But he came your son's to gonna the Go ahead. Your okay. son's gonna look at the bodies to see if any of them have any distinctive blades or hilts on their blades or markings. Okay. Does he find any signs of the six-headed dra dragon? And he's also going to try to remember back to see if he recognizes the same markings around the drag dagger as, you know, being related to other things he might be connected with. Uh, as you look, um, the each, like... All of them have this like same type of dagger. Um, they each have like a little red ruby in the middle, engraved in the middle, and then it's just kind of like etchings, like like in the middle, like of a head of a dragon. All around. Do the these do these look anything similar to what the bloodstone blades used to carry? They look exactly like those. He's just going to pocket one, but not necessarily say anything at this point. Like, he, you guys can tell he's, like, clearly, like, distressed, and he's studying the dagger very carefully. And it looks like he might... His eyes kind of light up in recognition, but he doesn't really say anything. He stows one of them. Hmm. Well, we need answers. The clerics in the temple used to do this thing that was, quite frankly, horrifying. But they could talk to dead people? I can talk to dead people. You mean what? That feels like something you could do. Y'all seen him I did before. the other... Oh, that's yeah, right. I did yeah. it the other day. That's right, that's right. Never mind. I could, uh... I, I can do it search the twice. Too. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I'll be switching the bodies while I'm also doing that too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Their faces changed too. What does I, that I think it might be worth bringing two of them back to question them. I think you're absolutely right. Arnis, roll me a history check mm -hmm. with advantage because okay. it was recent. Yeah, uh, you remember on the carriage that y'all are supposed to hijack. There was one of them that changed as well. The one, the one who uh, was gonna impersonate Sir Frederick. I think these are like them. Her. Would or army of changelings? Yeah. Yes, changelings. That's the word. Sir Frederick said he, they were gonna try to get to Mr. Trinity, his boss. And we just found oh, five of them. Or they five of them came to us. Four of them. So that's a, four of them. So four. The All main right. one face did not change. He stayed okay. looking the same. Hmm. This way to describe what his face looks if y'all watch Star Wars uh, Inquisitors that go after Jedi. That's what oh, they kind of look okay. like. That's what he kind of looks like. Kayla's kind of backs up while they're all doing this to Providence. Um, he's not getting too close to her, but like close enough to be a comforting presence to her. Uh, she's she's young. She'd probably like lean into you. Actually, we'll find her. As Isam digs through the bodies, he's also searching for signet rings or other sort of signs of membership. Uh, uh, you get his. You what? Only thing you find on the other bodies is those daggers. They didn't really have any coin or anything like that. The main guy, you find his mace. Um, it's very light. Feels like it. You know. 
might be magical. And then uh, on the inside of his cloak, we find it's not like a letter, it's more of a list of items. Oh shit. I'm I'm looking specifically at their armor. What? If any of them are wearing any some. Uh, uh, only uh, armor. Uh, the other ones just had like regular cloaks on, and um, the guy that you know was killed. All he had was like a breastplate on, with which, a cloak which melted melted into his body. Okay. But are you still burning oh, the, that uh, guy? The other, I'm sorry, the other one's still outside. <laughs> well, only last I made it, right? Yeah, I should be dead. Even right? after death glitch is just like, <laughs> Die, I say! Uh, the other one, I'm sorry, I misspoke. The Oops, other one's got leather that. armor. Leather armor, okay. Which are now pretty much destroyed by you guys, so. Okay. Yeah. That's not helpful to me. So the mace is not finesse, right? It's strength based, correct? Mm hmm. I mean, he said his light is magical, but I don't know whether the light meant it was. Mace is the thing that has like a ball, kind of a ball, it's like a flail with without a sticky. Is yeah. Okay. Um, Would it's... any of you two? He looks like Chaos and Providence or Glitch. Would any of you three like a magical mace? I maybe a Glitch could use it. Bert, I kind of use. I was it's like, I kind of like my hammer. Someone to look into what kind of magic it does. I can, it'll take me 10 minutes, but I can figure that out. Okay. He hands you the mace. Yeah. Um, and he starts reading through that list uh, and saying to Kalis, listen, I need to hear exactly every detail of what happened to your dream, if you don't mind, Kalis. Do we want to hold that to next time? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Okay. What? What are you reading, no. Isam? Is there... Well, that's what I'm saying. We're holding everything. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this right, is the okay. ending of the... Okay. As you know. Right. So we'll, we'll end it where you're pulling out the mate or pulling out the list of... It looks like a list of items. And uh, that's where we cut it and we'll pick up there next time. Okay. Right. okay. Uh, looks okay. like our next time would be be able to play unless we want to miss any characters or whatever. Uh is the 28th as of right now until unless i find out my schedule is different no we don't we don't have who's who's missing on the 21st me probably oh, right, right. on the 21st yes. and glitch is missing this on the is 14th. my pantomiming for badass rowing <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's the next time we'll be back uh as of right now schedule pending my schedule if nothing changes i don't i don't quite know what my schedule is uh because i just checked into new command so anyway well welcome back i miss this this was fun uh so we go once one more it's around the room uh garner hi <coughs> i got nothing going on i do nothing <laughs> all right you want uh, me to do <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, hey everyone, I don't really stream, but actually I've been thinking about starting, so who knows? Do it, yeah. do it. Yes, absolutely. And in October, every Wednesday night is our charity event, so she's co deeming with me for that, so that's going to be fun. Yes. JR. Uh, I am a JR the Nerd on Twitch, Nerd Empire on Instagram. Uh, Tuesday nights, Maiden Mayhem. Uh, the Maidens are trying to escape Desert Island and up against an entire army. Uh, eventually, I'm going to do some other things, but for now, I do occasionally Baldur's Gate 3, occasionally uh, Skyrim, lots and lots of Skyrim. Uh, but we'll be picking up some other games possibly at some point in the next month or two on Saturdays. Uh, I also do interviews with some of my friends who are authors of fantasy and science fiction books. So come and check me out if you are interested in any of those things. All right, and uh, Royal Tender. Hi, I'm Rartender. Um, I don't stream anymore, but you can catch me here with these guys. Play D&D. &D. Uh, Weasel was just over on um, oh, what's Habits. Habits channel. Uh, 
you can catch her on the interwebs. So, Weasel. Yep, I I died in our last session two nights ago. Um, it was great. I had two successful death saves, and then an unsuccessful one, and then a nat one. Um, and we're all level one, so we're never going to bring me back. But they try. Uh, it's great. So yeah, my little two foot tall kobold is is no more. But I'll still be hanging out while they try to bring me back next session. I don't. I think it's in like two Fridays from now. So. All right. Make sure you go check out Havoc over on his uh, thing. Yeah, Weasel, you can probably do it. I don't have him. Yep. Stuff. Uh, and then Silver Wolf. I already put. I put their links in the chat for everybody that does stream. So Silver Wolf, when you be live again next Friday? Um. Uh, actually, I'm gonna be live tomorrow morning. Gonna crochet some more. Get that working on that blanket I've been trying to get done. So. Uh, I will be doing that about 8.30 Mountain Time, and then I'll be back on Friday night, actually around 4 p.m. now, to do either some Warzone or something else, something game-ish, so. Nice, and it's just that old man Garrus in there. Woo! Old man Garrus! Uh, so, anyway, uh, this comes to a close for tonight's uh, game. Um, I'll be I don't know when I'll be streaming again. I have to figure out my schedule. So, uh, but yeah, we'll be back on three weeks for uh, the continuation of the story as the plot thickens. And uh, I missed this. This was fun. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. We love you very much. Thank you for both raids. Thank you for the follows from DM Ron, Cap, Cap Mizzy, More Than Dice, and then we had a subscribe a subscription from Stargana. Uh, the true Wessel gifted out a sub. Zoldi resubbed and Wessel res uh, resubbed. So thank you for all those. Great welcome back stream for our my D D games. Uh, again, love you very much, and uh, we'll stick around for the raid. I gotta figure out who we're raiding. Thank you guys. You have a great night. Shut